Hello class, my name is Jim Brakebill and I'm going to be your instructor for the California State Fire Training Confined Space Awareness class. I wanted to do a quick um, instructional video on how to navigate through this class because I'm finding there's a lot of students that haven't been uh, introduced to Canvas yet. So um, I'm going to start off by showing you your um, dashboard and what I want you to do to find our confined space class, it'll be this one right here, the one that says 20 fall California State Fire Marshal 070-1084 confined space awareness. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on that and it's immediately going to take you to your home page. The home page here is some introduction to the class. So I wanna make sure that, the, that you understand you need to read everything on this home page. The biggest mistake students make is they try to jump right into the course, they start doing the work, and then they, they get low grades either on a discussion board or on the quizzes. It's because they didn't go back and follow the directions. So it's very important. This is only an eight hour class and I have it set up you know, with my lectures, they're already recorded and you can do the work on your own basically so we can minimize the amount of time we have to spend in our Zoom meeting this coming Friday on uh, October 2nd. So after you get done reading this, the next stop I want you to um, do is click on the course syllabus up here. And when you look at the course syllabus, Okay, the course summary, there's only two things you have to do in this class. You have to introduce yourself on the discussion board, and then you have to take the certification exam at the end of the course. That's it. In order for you to read the course syllabus and to get my contact information, uh, please click on the syllabus image above to download and print the course syllabus. So you click on the course syllabus, It'll download right on your computer and you can um, blow it up so you can read it. And there you go. Now, one of the things I want to draw your attention to is we have two um, orientation meetings that we'll be hosting. Uh, one will be this evening on Wednesday, September 30th at 7 p.m. And the next one will be on uh, Thursday morning at 7 a.m., which is October 1st. These are not required, nor does it impact your grade if you miss. The only downside is if you miss, you're gonna be behind in, in your work and you'll, you'll be very busy on Friday. So I strongly encourage you to e attend either or. Okay, but to access our meetings, it's very simple. You just go to um, zoom.us and enter the meeting number which is 506-966-7982 and then when prompted this is the class code every meeting we have for this class it'll be the same okay every meeting so when you click on this okay it's going to take you to zoom's home page and then right here it says join a meeting and that's what you're going to click on and just follow the prompts from there Okay, um, course description, my contact information is right here, my email, my cell phone number, feel free to call me anytime. But again, you know, the students make a mistake and they don't read the course syllabus and they start asking me a bunch of, of questions that have already been answered if they would have read the course syllabus. Okay, um, to get out of the course syllabus, just hit the back arrow up here. All right, so you you go back to the home page. All right, so we we've, we've read all the introductory about the course and everything, and then it shows you how to access the course. All right, so one of the things we're going to do is click on the confined space, and we're going to get right into the course. For those of you that haven't used Canvas before, it's almost like a book. So these gray rows right here are considered chapters. However, 
Canvas calls them modules. Okay, so you can see we have three modules in this class. So this is the getting started module. And then you're going to turn to the first page. So you're going to click on the page. And it tells you a little bit about myself. Then down in the lower right corner, you're going to hit next. And then there's a little um, instructional video on how to use Canvas. Then you click on how to use the Zoom conference tool. The textbook for the class. Notice there is no textbook for the class. Okay, I didn't think it was um, uh, fair for you to go out and pay over $100 for the textbook and you're only going to use it one time. So I made student handouts for you free of charge. Turn the page. Okay, we have the attendance policy. And basically, you're going to have to be in class. And if you don't attend class, you're going to fall behind and I got to drop you from the class. Remember, this is a state fire marshal class, state fire training. You have to be there the entire time. Turn the page. We, we go into our academic integrity and no cheating. Then I have some successful learning strategies. Turn the page. This is our discussion board policy. All right, and here's where students, again, get a poor grade on the discussion because they fail to identify students by their name when they're replying to the post. Okay, the discussion usually has two due dates. Turn the page. This is where you can ask questions to other students in the class or get some help with Canvas. You can post your reply right here. All right, now we're going into the next chapter or module. This is module one. This is where the actual coursework is. Here's your first assignment. Introduce yourself. Okay, so you're going to write a response to this discussion prompt by tonight. Okay, and then by Friday, you're going to respond to two other students with some meaningful feedback. All right, this discussion is worth 10 points. To find out how it's graded, just go down here. Click on rubric, and boom, you get to see how the course is graded. I mean, how the uh, discussion is graded. It's very important, okay, because you're graded on grammar, punctuation, syntax. You need to write at the collegiate level, not like you're texting. Okay, you just X out of the rubric. You get done with this. You're going to post your reply. Look at here. Forrest, uh, Reyes has already posted his, um, his introduction. So then you're going to turn the page. Here's your student handouts. You're going to click on student handout. You can download it to your computer and print it. So basically, um, you're going to be able to take notes as we lecture. And I made sure that everything that I lecture about is is covering what was what's on the certification exam so again this is um free for you all right to get out of it just hit the back arrow and then you just go and you turn the page and then here's the lecture okay you just click on the lecture you can enlarge it Hello, class welcome to the california state fire training Okay, to exit this, you can just hit the escape button. So you can listen to this lecture as many times as you want. Everything that's on the course certification exam, it's covered two or three or four times in this lecture. When you get done, you can turn the page. I have some training videos that will review everything that we lectured on. It's very important. The reason I selected these videos is because these videos, once again, cover everything that's on the certification exam. So if you choose not to watch the videos, you're not going to do well on the certification exam. So you have to listen to the lecture, take notes, watch the videos, and you're not going to have a problem on the certification exam. Okay, when you're done with this, done watching your videos, you're going to turn the page. I also have some the NFPA standards for you. 
standard uh, 1006, which is the standard for technical rescue personnel qualifications, and then standard 1670, which is the standard for operations and training for technical search and rescue. Just click on the NFPA um, image, and then you can click and you can download for free, okay, if you want to keep a copy for your personal library. Okay, to get out, to get out of this, just hit the back arrow. You're going to turn the page. And finally, you're at the exam. Okay, this is a 45 question multiple choice exam covering everything that was in the lecture, the student handout, and the videos. Okay, notice that this is, uh, you have to score an 80% or better on this exam. There's 45 questions. So um, I, you, I told Canvas to give you two attempts at the exam and to only pick the highest score. And then you're done. That's it. You can go back up to the home page. Okay, the exam, the exam will automatically be graded and you'll receive your score the minute that you submit your exam. And you'll have a chance to review the exam to see what you missed. Okay. Any questions um, on the course, please feel free to give me a call at area code 760-835-7165 or you can um, send me an email at jbreakbill at collegeofthedesert.edu. I also wanted to, to go over with you for a minute. Um, it's vitally important for the next couple of days that you check your, your course announcements and you check your college email because that's how I communicate. And if you miss a course announcement or you miss an email, it could impact your grade. So the California State Education Code says students that are taking a web enhanced class, online class, or hybrid class are required to check your emails daily and your course announcements. So what I did for the course announcements, you can either check them by clicking on the tab or going to your home page. And on your home page, the last four announcements that I send out, okay, are the ones that um, that are the most recent. And if you want to look at all the course announcements, just go back and click on the announcements tab. Well, class, hopefully I've answered some of your questions. I strongly recommend you attend one of the two pre-course orientations. They're only going to be 15, 20 minutes long. Uh, give us a chance to, uh, for questions and answers. So um, I hope you enjoy the course. I wanted to open it up early because of our unprecedented time and a lot of students are dealing with with their children in elementary school and having to help teach them online so i wanted to make this as easy as possible for you okay my i'm on i'm on canvas all the time i'm on emails all the time my fire department cell phone is on my hip uh, you can get me anytime okay thank you so much and i look forward to, to meeting you in the zoom orientation for this class and if not I will see you Friday morning at 8 o'clock. Okay, thank you, and, and uh, you all have a safe week, and, and uh, enjoy.